everyone, Battle Chrome here. We are back in the Maypole Farm. As you're probably looking at the date and saying, okay, how do we get to February? What happened? Well, what happened was is I had a little uh, problem with uh, the last episode that I started recording, which would have been episode three, which was, oh, let's see, that would have been December, January, right? Uh, so I went to edit uh, those two months and that gameplay and there was a little problem with the mic. The mic was cutting in and out and to the point that the dialogue was pretty much useless. So the way I decided to fix this was uh, I still have the footage. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the footage and we're gonna trim it down and I'm gonna give you like the quick version of what went on in December and January which is gonna play here in just a second and then we'll continue on in February with the episode and this episode will play through February and March. Um, anyway, I think this is going to be fun. So here comes the clip, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, we made a little mistake here and made the wrong size bales here. So let's just gather them up, and uh, we'll move them over there by our new hybrid bale wrapper. Yeah, we'll put them right here for right now. We'll come back to this. And, yep, we better gather up these silage bales. We're gonna need these. We'll just put them over here for right now. And that way we can come back later and get what we need. Oh, we got a few more. Let's throw them in there too. Okay, let's mulch this field by the cow barn. And, well, let's plow it too. In the snow. Oh yeah, that's right. We left some uh, hay bales on the uh, south field. We better get them. Put them over here. Man, check this thing out. Thanks for the comments in the comment section telling me how to use this thing, guys. It's pretty cool. All right, yeah, well, we did plow the field by the cow barn, so let's get rid of these rocks. Yep, the south field needs rolling. Let's do that. Oh, this thing is filthy. How does it get so dirty? Yeah, jeez. You know, I think we're gonna need one of these. Time to buy some cows. Uh, $12,000 for eight cows? Oh my gosh. Well, let's give them some food. How do we get these things in here again? Oh, yeah. Finally, we're going to sell some. Make some money. Here we go. This is the way you do it. Yeah. 25,000, that's all right, not bad for our first money. Yeah, we're gonna make sure these little money makers have some food. Are we still doing this? Oh, thank goodness. Wait, what? Oh, oh okay, thank Jesus. Yep, you know, I think we're gonna need this. We got the uh, straw bills, and we need to get that in there somehow. There we go. Now we got happy cows. All right, folks. I think we're all caught up now. Okay, we're back, and now you're all up to date. Uh, let's go back and look at the farm. I guess there's one thing you're not up to date on, though, is I did install the precision farming update. We need to get our crop information. Here, our field information. And I wonder what it's going to cost for each field. Let's see. That's 26. That's 4,000. That's 6,000. Yeah, we might actually. Might be worth it for us to buy the uh, soil sampler. It's almost costing us as much money as the soil sample would cost. I wonder if we should buy it. There it is. Uh, it's only 800 bucks to lease it. Wow, it's totally worth it to lease it. We could lease it, get all of our information. That's going to save us money. Okay, well, we'll check on our animals here in a minute. Let's, uh, let's run up to the shop. Let's drop this rock collector off.
This tractor is shamefully dirty. Oh, look at this thing. So grimy and dirty. Clean it up. Ooh, man, it's looking sharp now. Look at that. It's like a brand new tractor. We can see out the windows again. All right, let's head up to the shop. Let's buy one of those. Let's grab. bought that thing, didn't I? Oops, I meant to lease it. Well, looks like we own it now. Okay, let's see. Customize. Standard. Oh, here we go. Hey! <laughs> You stop, man. There we go. I think that's an insurance scam there. Did you see that? He just slammed on his brakes right in front of me. Uh, just missed our farm here by quite a bit, didn't we? <laughs> Where in the world am I? Man, we took a wrong turn somewhere here. Jeez. I got lost in Maple. Cabulary Roy is going to be laughing at me now. So we'll just start right over here. Gonna scan down these fields here. There we go. Lower it. Take sample. Okay. Just took our last soil sample. Let's send them in. Soil samples are now sent to laboratory for analysis. You will see results of the soil types on the map soon. There we go. We got charge 4,500. I think we should head on up to the shop and sell this bag. It would have been cheaper to lease it, but 
I don't know if I can, we're going to take too bad of a hit on it here, really. Probably because it has so few powers on it. Fourteen thousand four seventy-seven. So let's see, just about fifteen. We lost about twenty-five hundred, and it was going to cost us what, about nine hundred leasing. So it didn't end up costing us a little more here, mistake. But it was still totally worth it. are good fields. These are really good fields down here. That turned out great. We just got little slivers at the top of these two fields over here that aren't going to yield so great, but the rest of it is going to yield really good. And we'll have a look at it in the morning here. Let's give it a shut out here. Alright, well, let's take the tractor back down. You guys get this? I get this a lot in the morning. See how the lights are all flashy looking? Oh! Yep. Watch the road there. Sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like it always seems to happen like early in the morning. It's like the lighting effects or something. I don't know. It could just be my PC I'm playing on that does that. Well, we gotta get these fields up to, up to snuff. That's what we gotta do. Oh, we could sell some stuff. We need to sell some stuff, and then uh, after that, we can start doing uh, a little fertilizing, a little liming where required. We gotta get these fields up to snuff here. Oh, we have flying deer again. See that deer up there? Oh, it's gone. It's Christmas time. Must have been a reindeer. Oh no, it's February. It's still past Christmas. My bad. We could probably sell some of the silence bills too to get some more money. We could probably sell even more silence bills if we needed to because. Well, we got the whole roll of whoop. Man, just bad and knocks it there. Stay on there. Oh, oh come on. Did I say oxidant? It'd be accident, right? Hmm. Alright, let's try it. Maybe, oh, we need to grab it further away. Here we go. Asked to take it. In there, maybe right. In there. Alright, that's uh, a little precarious, but that's good enough. Ooh, man, that was 
this Tiff pulling this heavy trailer up that hill right there. Strap it back down. Okay, I do believe the maple export market is right there. Alright, let's pull the trailer around here. Do it. Oh, there. there it goes. And we got about eight thousand dollars. Well, that's something. Alright, let's head back over to the shop. Oh, we got some stuff to pick up. I think we should just grab the stuff we need tonight. That way, first thing in the morning, we can start on uh, planting uh, the new field of sorghum and uh, also we can spray down those grass fields. For precision farming on here, we're probably going to want to go direct drill. Yeah, we're going to plant grass, and then in a couple more months, we're going to be planting sorghum, and then not long after that, we're going to plant wheat. We got three we got three crops we have to plant. There we go. There it is, right there. Let's park it over here next to the board. Looks like a good spot for it. Alright, let's head on up to the shop one more time. And we're gonna grab a solid fertilizer spreader. So we should get it, fill it with lime, and uh, and then we'll get fertilizer after we've limed the fields. Wheels, I think those wheels are fine. We want the cover. Yep, let's get it. So 2000. Yeah, we can hold three of these guys right now. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna leave the tractor on the middle of the road here. Why not? Sorry, man. I'll move in the morning. You'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, you're still there? You stayed there all night? Oh, uh oh, look, I'm jumping on your car. <laughs> all right. All right, let's get, uh, let's grab the other tractor here. These hay bales here falling around. Yeah, they're all right. Let's grab the other tractor. Uh, we will hook up the planter, and we'll get a worker working on that. Have them start planting grass in that field over there while we start uh, liming and fertilizing. Okay, let's set the seed to grass. Grass right there. Now we can unfold. Turn it 
turn it on, lower it. Alright, we'll just go right across this whole side of the field here. Okay. Turn on crop sensor. Variable C rate not available for grass. Oh, we got this thing for nothing? What the heck? <laughs> well, learn something new every day. I guess you don't need it for grass. Okay. That's enough. And eh, we're missing a little strip there. Give me a little tight. See, we're going back over that spot we were just on, and we're not wasting any time doing it. That's the nice thing about this precision farming. did get nitrogen thrown down on all these grass fields here man I'll tell you what we had to put down a lot of fertilizer and a lot of lime on the fields 
Uh, so the lesson in this episode is, is be careful adding precision farming into a game you already have going. You might be better off just, uh, I don't know, starting your game from scratch before you uh, add that mod. Because it literally just wiped out all of the uh, night all the fertilization was already on these fields. I mean, they just wiped them pretty much down to zero. They were like that bad. I mean, you see that crop? That's how all these are. That was like that too. It's like it just wiped them out, man. Well, we got time to get this crop over here up to snuff though beforehand. And yeah, they're looking all right now though. But like I said, we had to dump quite a bit of fertilizer on them to get them. Uh, this one though, when we plant it, we'll be able to get this one up to snuff because we're going to plant it and then after that we can fertilize it. And we'll get max yield on this crop over here. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we can call this an episode right there. Uh, we definitely learned some lessons here on this one as far as adding precision farming goes. I do have some questions though with this precision farming as far as grass goes because you know, when I cut that one field, when I cut the sheep field, I thought it would have brought nitrogen levels up. Because normally, in the base game, if you cut a field of grass, you get a level of uh, fertilization. You get one level of fertilization just for cutting it. And then you only have to fertilize it one other time, or you can roll it, and that'll give you your second level of fertilization. And when I was fiddling around with the roller, I cut it, I got nothing. I fiddled around with the roller, I got nothing. So I don't know if cutting and rolling gets you anything if you got precision farming on grass fields. I don't know. Anyway, hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you watching, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next episode.